Brina Stewart could learn a lesson from Ice Cube's struggle with NBA unrivaled near much awaited launch. Hello everyone and welcome to this short to the point audio podcast. It's not that WNB the place to be to be for any aspiring female basketball star. A question mark. In May this year the league recorded its highest attendance month in last two decades. Largely thanks to Katrin Clark whose arrival has helped fills arena up to 94% while the WNB salaries are not great currently. These numbers are will eventually generate more revenue thus increases the chances of higher salary. However, many stars have found other avenues to earn after Ice Cube Big 3 Brina Stewart and Nafisa Collier unveiled the model of the new league unrivaled. For years, women have railed heavily on off-court sponsorship for a majority of their income, they said. As the league already aimed at making history, the WNBA viewership, which is just good a boost, might again be at stake. Now, unrivaled is only five months short of making its debut. Will the WNBA stay quiet? Question mark. Maybe. For sure, the WNBA response and the success of this league are unknown, but there is something now that Steven needs to take lesson from Ice Cube. Similar to what Steven and Collier have planned with Unrivaled, Ice Cube already did with the Big Three <laughs> League. The rapper, the rapper collaborated with entertainment executive Jeff in 2017 to unveil the new league and it's a unique idea behind its tone and it's aimed at playing three on three while having both former and international player on its rooster. Even Ice Cube planned to give away big financial figures according to multiple reporters. He offered big three players a staggering $10,000 per game along with the performance bonuses. This means each player had a chance to earn $100,000 per season. Well, these figures look impressive until you compare it with the NBA average per annum salary of $10.28 million. Then why would NBA seemingly be threatened by Big 3? Competition? I am not trying to compete in any way, shape or form with NBA. We are very complimentary, said Ice Cube in his new podcast series, Gatekeepers. According to Ice Cube, his Big 3 is consistently targeted despite all this. He even mentioned the unique way Adam Silver and the NBA try to eliminate the competition. So I don't understand why they will do some of this thing that is being done behind the scene. Encouraging people not to not sponsor us, encouraging networks to not to not to play us. The rapper said, while this, while this is not something new, fighting back, certainly yes. Moving forward, uh, he even mentioned we go to fight back in some way, shape or form. And Ice Cube did. He tracked it play by every possible means. Marketing is possibly the best way to do it, but Ice Cube does it. With his own unique way, he offered with challengings during his recent appearance in a Pat McAfee show. He challenged the 3x3 three three Olympic gold medal winning team to take any of the big three teams. So guys, this is all in this video. I hope you guys really like it. Kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.